hello and welcome to another video of Witcher Gamer or unboxing really so today we are um, like reviewing I'd say the 2000 React Attack Spinosaurus made by Mattel for Jurassic Park 3 in 2000 about 20 years ago so first look at the dinosaur it's got quite a nice uh paint job very nicely painted especially for the age or well, for the time it's been out and about uh i can't get the batteries working due to the screw being rusty and i can't open it so you would be able to click this button for like a uh react attack raw like pain uh there's the jurassic park free logo uh, all the JP thing that all dinosaurs from this. It's got a uh, quite a nice sculpture. Very, it's actually quite big compared to some other stuff. Also, if you hear something in the background, it is a fan because we are in a heat wave right now. Heat wave uh, in England. So yeah, that's at its max position. I'll just get something to, like, show you the height properly. So the thing I'm going to be uh, having a size comparison is with the thing I'm going to be reviewing next, which is the Lego Jurassic World Dominion Atrociraptor Dinosaur Bike Chase. It's I, I feel like it's a standard bo Lego box, and that's at the Spinosaurus maximum height i'll give some oh, i'll give some measurements right here for this in a second let's just get this it's going to be at max height so yeah so that's gonna that's the height comparison for you guys right there and now let's quickly get back to the review so the actual head sculpt, it's quite nice, it's quite accurate to the movie, uh, but the f from the front, kind of looks like a goose. It, it's not good from the front. The claws or the hands are absolutely massive, the actual claws are pretty sharp. Uh, there's a button right here on the neck, which if you press it, the mouth would open and it would roll. Not with the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus roll, but, but it was somewhat of a, like, a croaky, weird type of dog, your whining type of sound. I don't have a clip off of it, uh, but yeah, that's the best way I can describe it, so yeah. Very croaky. It was it was a used uh, version. I bought this off of eBay for ten pounds, which is kind of a steal. Yeah, it was obviously it said that it had a rusty nail. Uh, it, it some of its l l limbs were loose, like they're all really loose now. I kind of tried to tighten them with some uh, hot glue. Uh, the only one that worked <laughs> was the right arm. That's pretty tight now. It won't flop. The right arm was normal. The legs are the only problem. If you have any idea how to get that screw out, please tell me, because uh, I'm actually very keen on using some batteries on a, on this. So yeah, uh, pretty nice paint job. Uh, really good. I mean, it's pretty accurate. The sale, really nice. The paint job isn't accurate to the movie, but it may have been before the movie came out, as most toys do come out. And, oh my god, I got it to stand. So yeah, that's a pretty good shot. Dinosaur. Yeah, so that's the end of the review, I guess. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.